Breaking news in Seminole County, Sanford firefighters are battling their fourth fire within the past few hours. And it's been a busy morning for those firefighters. This is the fourth fire to break out this morning on Ronald Reagan Avenue near Hester Avenue in Seminole County. Firefighters just got control of the flames within the past hour. West 2's Ricky Klaus is live on the scene. And Ricky, what do you know this morning? Michelle, an exhausting night for firefighters in Seminole County who have been working since about 2.40 this morning trying to put out flames. One fire after the other, four in total since 2.40 a.m. Now, less than an hour ago, this fire started right here on Ronald Reagan Boulevard on, at Hester Avenue. Uh, Chopper was flying over the scene and saw that house on fire. Firefighters say that the house... Um, the second story of that house just had flames, not the first story. And then three other fires preceded that. Uh, the last one was at 4.40 a.m., and that was on 427 and downing off Ronald Reagan Boulevard to an abandoned two-story house. But neighbors told us that squatters often stay there. At the time, though, it was abandoned. The second fire happened at 20th and Maple around 4 o'clock this morning to another abandoned home. And the very first fire was on Palmetto and Sanford Avenue to a historic building that at one time was a dance studio. That was at 2.40 a.m. Important to mention, all of the fires have been to abandoned buildings. Nobody has been reported as injured this morning or hurt in any way. Now, we know the state fire marshal's office is sending three investigators to tackle all of these fires. They're going to start at the very first home and then work their way to the fourth home. I just checked with the lieutenant. She says no other fires have been reported this morning, um, but certainly these are going to be investigated as suspicious just because of their proximity to each other and, of course, the proximity in time. For now, reporting live in Seminole County, Ricky Klaus, West 2 News on CW18.